Okay, now we're moving on to part number PG0007 in the PG series. Uh, this time what we're going to introduce is countersinking operation and also, of course, creating the countersink tool. Um, so you should have already by now, um, before we go any further than this, have created these holes in here. But remember, these are countersunk holes, uh, through holes, 266 diameter, with a 480 thousandths diameter countersink at 82 degrees. Very important that we use all that information when creating our tool. So I'm um, going to assume that you already did that. And looking back at our model here, uh, that we're already, we already have a setup. So um, what we'll go ahead and do now is do our spot drilling, do our drilling, and then we're going to create a countersink and do our countersinking operation. All right, so my setup is all ready to go. Um, I don't need to go through that with you. You can do that on your own. And if you need to do that, do that now. I'm just going to get right into the drilling and countersinking. So I'm going to drill. Uh, I'm going to select my tool. From previous operations, I already have my spot drill. So I'll select that for tool one. And I'm going to geometry tab, click these three holes. And I, I'm doing is I'm clicking just, just on the countersink itself. All right. But again, that looks kind of funky there. So we're just spotting. We, we don't want to go that deep. Um, we're going to go a little less depth than that. So we're going to change our height to minus 0.080. That should be fine. Yeah, that looks a lot better for spotting. All right. Perfect. That's okay. I've already created the 266 thousandths diameter tool. And if you haven't done that, you can do, you can stop the video and do that now. And we're going to do another drilling operation. I'm going to select from my library. Uh, that's from my regular library, 266 drill. I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go reselect that. I want to edit that tool. And that should be tool number two on the post processor. All right, that's good. Now the thing is to do, I got to select all these holes again. All right, so it's going to start from the very top. But our height is, it's a through hole. So our bottom height needs to go from the model bottom. And you can see that with that extra 120 thousandths offset, make sure that's in there, minus 0.12. It goes all the way through. And then we change this for peck drilling. We change the cycle type to deep drilling, full retract, and it gives us our peck. All right. This stuff we've already done a few times, so you should be getting, hopefully getting used to that by now. Uh, we're going to add a new one today. Uh, we're going to add a new tool new operation, but it's under drilling. So we're going to pretend like we're doing drilling. We're going to, for tool selection, we're going to go to our library. We're going to add a new tool. And under hole making, you'll see countersink. All right. And what we're going to make is a one half by 82 degree countersink. Very specific. It's got to be a little bit bigger than that 480 diameter. So that half inch is 500 diameter. Uh, 82 degree is the shape of the cone. So we've got to have that correct. All right, now we're going to go describe the cutter. Uh, number of flutes, these are actually one flute, high speed steel, diameter is 0.5. And this tip angle is set at 90 degrees. So we've got to change that. We've got to change the 90. 82 degrees. I just changed this. Now you notice this this kind of stops short here. This should come down to almost a perfect point. Uh, where we change that is where it says tip diameter. I use some uh, for fairly small number for this. Usually like 0.02 is is correct enough. It's close enough. All right. So um, about 20 thousandths tip diameter would be about correct here. All right. Moving on to cutting data. We're going to go fairly slow with this. Um, let's go like 500 RPM. 
and five inches a minute. Right? That'll go nice and easy. So it won't go too fast. Post processor, we want to change that. This is tool number three that we're going to have. Accept that. All right, we're going to select that one for this job. All right, and for our geometry, let's click those three holes again. And when it comes to our heights, we're going to, oops, sorry about that. The heights, we got to go to from the model top, like before. And now what we've got to do is we've got to calculate how, how far down we're going to go with this, um, you know, from the top down, from the tip of the countersink. And if you recall, we have a countersink depth chart that we use to figure out. And if we, for 82 degrees, the formula is 0.575 times the diameter that we want. So if I go 0.575 times what I want is 0.480. It's going to give me the depth that I should go to. So my depth should be 276 thousandths. So I'm going to go minus 0.276. And that should get me pretty darn close to where I want to be. All right. And just go OK. And we're good. Now what we can do, that's it. We can simulate this, of course. Um, action simulate and I'm going to slow it down a little bit so you can see what happens here when it uh, when it does its countersinking which is coming up in just a second I'll slow it way down there we go nice countersink operation looks good we can save that and post out that setup the entire setup get your code and you're good to go.